Hey everyone, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur. And in this video, you are going to learn how to end every day with a squeaky clean inbox so you can spend more time on what actually matters and less time being sucked in to the endless cycle of emails and useless messages. And this is really important because it's estimated that 28 to 13 hours of the average person's work week is sucked into their inbox. So going through the simple system that I'm about to share with you should allow you to join that clean inbox club and hopefully dramatically cut down the amount of hours it takes to clean out your inbox. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a bonus productivity hack that really helps keep email in its place and keeps it from taking over your entire workday. And so the first step to cleaning out your inbox is creating a organizational structure that will allow you to stay clean moving forward. Because it's one thing to you know wake up Saturday morning, grab a cup of coffee, and then just go crazy for a couple of hours cleaning out your inbox. It always feels good, but you know what? By the end of the week, you have things piling up again. So this is what I like to call the four communication quadrants of email. So we have noise, administrative, team, and customers. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up rules and folders so you can have all of your messages go to the proper place so you never miss anything important. And you make sure all of those noisy emails that just suck away all of your time are out of sight and out of mind unless you actually actively want to see them. And be sure to check out the description because I have a full table of content so you can skip around this video to see the different steps of this process. So you definitely don't have to start with all these folders. This is just a suggestion of what I use to really stay organized and on top of things. Now, before you set up all these folders, before you set up all the auto rules, of course, we have to do a really deep clean. And so these are kind of the four simple steps of that deep clean. And I want to start off by noting if you have more than a thousand unread emails, you know, probably mass deleting and just doing a scorched earth policy and then starting over from scratch is going to be the most effective use of your time time as opposed to trying to go through all of them because emails that are over two or three months old, there's probably not a lot of value in there and it's a better use of your time to just delete them. So now that you've cleaned out your inbox for the first time, you're ready for the simple four steps to stay organized and productive in your inbox moving forward. So the first step is to identify tasks and answer questions. So I like starting with the team quadrant, looking for emails. I have three sample emails right here and figuring out what information do I need to provide to my boss, my client, or my team to make sure that everybody else is moving forward because it's no fun being the bottleneck in a process or a project. So I'm gonna go through here. Obviously, you'll want to auto label and tag these different emails for these different projects. I'm just using this account so I don't have to blur everything out of my personal one. So I'm gonna go through here and I see project update. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to the social tab because that's where I want all of my team stuff. So I know I can come in here and I go straight to social and this will have all of my team things. Here's a blurred out example of what my personal inbox looks like. These are all the emails I need to go through first thing. I know these are the ones that I have to focus on. If I got nothing else done, these are the people that I need to reply to today. So I'll go ahead, open up the email and I'll quickly respond. If it's gonna take longer than two or three minutes, what I might do is I might send it to my task manager like Asana or send it into Evernote if that's where you keep things and then add it as a task because when you're going through your email, you really just want to be rapid fire, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, get done as quickly as possible. So if you get an email and it turns out to be a task, I highly recommend forwarding it to Trello, Asana, Todoist, whatever you have, all of those task management applications allow you to forward emails. So to do that, you come up here and click forward and then you would type in the email address for your task task manager. And then you go ahead and click send, and then it sends it off to your task manager. And now you can either set up a new filter or you can just quickly add it to team. I'm going to do that now. And there you go filtered and done. So even though I didn't reply to it, I sent it off to my task manager. So now when I go to my task manager and I'm looking at what I need to work on for the day, because I know it's going to take longer than a few minutes to reply, then I know that's one of the first tasks I need to work on. And it keeps you from constantly checking your inbox every day. Your task manager should be where you keep all of your things. Then next, I would go and do the same process with, hey, there's a client. Okay, maybe this is a new prospect. I'll add him to my CRM or forward it to another member on the team that needs to take care of it. And then of course, if I have a client question, the client email help with this, help with that. 
that. If I can't quickly solve it, then I'll go ahead and add it to my task manager. Then finally, I'll go to my updates tab and I'll look and see if there's any administrative updates. If there are, for example, like let's say my accountant sends me an email, I'll go ahead and send that off to Evernote or Asana. Now I keep saying those other platforms because it's really important to remember that email is just for communication you'll get sucked into it if you use it as a to-do list. And finally, we have noise. And that's simply going through your promotions tab, maybe going through your updates tab. And this is where you start creating new filters. You go through that process again of unsubscribing or marking as spam, but always do this, you know, after you've handled all the emails that are from real people, which leads me into my pro tip. And my pro tip is to schedule the time you check your email. I can't stress this enough. Email is really something, it's other people's to-do list. It sucks you in, which is why I keep talking about pushing things out to your project management software or your note-taking software. Because when you schedule your time throughout the day, you're much more strategic and you're much less likely to be interrupted with things that aren't necessarily all that important. And when you go through this process, I recommend three times a day, as you can see, you will have enough time in between email to get real work done, but it's not so much time that you're not actually replying to emails in a timely manner. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of building an online business from scratch and doing a lot of productivity and email hack videos just like this one to help you be more productive in your business and your professional life. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment below if you have any questions about optimizing your inbox. I hope that this helps you join the Clean Inbox Club. And of course, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.